So thank you, first of all. Um, I was really lucky to be in the Serengeti National Park uh, with an organisation called Asilia Africa back in July and August last year. And we were there to document the wildebeest migration and that's when there's millions of animals moving through the landscape. Um, you know, they're moving from the Serengeti into the Mara ecosystem. And it's a time where the predators can really grab an easy meal. There's so many antelope species in the landscape. Um, and we just happened to see this lioness pounce out the corner of our eye and as we took the vehicle closer um, we saw that she'd taken down a, a fully grown wildebeest and unfortunately the kill wasn't clean um, and the poor wildebeest was still alive for a while as she started eating um, but that's why you can see the, the blood is so red it's completely oxygenated it's fresh blood um, as we got a tiny bit closer, this lioness just put her paw over the, the body of the wildebeest and, and she just happened to look down the lens of my camera, so I, I took the photo. <laughs> the encounter itself, it didn't last that long. Um, it was probably only five to ten minutes and I had an adjustable lens, so I was taking a range of different photos. I've got ones where you can see her entire body and the body of the wildebeest below her. Um, but for me, the, the most impactful part of that whole encounter was her, it was her demeanour, it was her, you know, she was really intimidating, it was her eye contact, um, and so I, I decided to crop in on the photo and really focus on that gaze, because to me that was the bit that really had the most impact on me as a person, um, and with all my photography, what I really want is to convey to the viewer what I felt in that moment, and I think that by using that crop and deciding to crop in on her face and her eye gaze, which was the most impactful thing. I, I hope that I've made the viewers feel the same that I did when I was there. I was actually using a Sigma 150 to 600 mil, um, so it's a lot lighter than some of the fixed 500 or 600 mil lenses that you get. Um, and this isn't at full uh, stretch. I think it was at 283 mils, and then I've cropped in even further. Um, but I, it was also helped the stability of the special photographic vehicle where you can have the sides down and you're lying on your tummy and you're eye to eye with uh, these incredible predators.